Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so the video that I just showed you is the teaser that Dokkan has posted on both the global and the uh, JP Twitter accounts as the first official teaser of the worldwide celebration. Now, this was tweeted out by the JP account and then deleted uh, a few hours ago. It actually happened while I was asleep before my early stream earlier today. Um, I guess because they either just didn't get the times lined up for scheduling with the global one um could be the typical global team shenanigans right we all know the global team especially when it comes to the social media side is a lot smaller and very often makes these kind of mistakes with social media posts so i'm sure truth will uh, blame it on global right but they are now both posted on both official twitter accounts and uh, you just saw the video play at the beginning now of course a lot of people are immediately assuming that the model that is being built is uh, trunks's time machine um, but there are some interesting theories uh, surfacing because of the later part of the video where the four square panels are being put together well there's two in the video right the square panels are being made now those could be pieces of the time machine model uh, obviously we don't know like we don't know how big the model is going to be um who knows what it's going to look like when it's finished those could just be pieces of the time machine model although i don't know where they would fit in especially considering the size of them it's not like they're going to be these fins sticking out from like this top middle bit here um who knows but the thing that a lot of people have started to point out is the fact that they look like the tiles from the cell games arena and remember, you know, as much as everybody wants Future Saga or is, has been anticipating Future Saga, the first time that we see Trunks and his time machine is in the Cell Saga. So there is obviously the possibility that we could be looking at another Android slash Cell Saga themed celebration. So obviously yesterday I did a video with uh, Joe and Minato talking about various different things that we could see for the worldwide celebration and my video focused on Future Saga. I know this is something that a lot of people do want to see and you know the time machine part definitely serves to back that up a little bit right because the future saga does include all of the future gohan and the future androids stuff right which is obviously directly related back to the time machine and everything however remember the cells aren't on this this saga is only for the stuff that took place in the future timeline so it's all of the future trunks and like gohan ova stuff and then the future saga from dragon ball super so Obviously, this could still be a big part of the celebration. I don't want to retread all of the stuff that I talked about in the video yesterday. If you want to see my thoughts on who the units and stuff could be for a future Saga themed celebration, um, then do go check out that video that I posted yesterday. But the thing that I mainly wanted to look at here was this whole Android slash Cell Saga thing, because a long time ago it's been a couple of years since this has happened but we had a couple of instances in a row where the dokon fest exclusive that released on jp just before the um worldwide celebration was essentially like a hint as to the theme of the worldwide celebration and this year the dokon fest that has just released over on jp is this tech trunks that transforms into super trunks so if they are you know maybe this is them going back to those old ways and his release was to signal you know the release of a cell saga worldwide download celebration now cell saga was the theme of the worldwide celebration a few years ago that's when we first got the int lr cell and the agl lr gohan but remember with both of these units gohan starts out as a super saiyan one and step and cell the wording of the cell units is always very weird this guy is called perfect form cell well it's cell brackets perfect form um and then we have characters like the where is it this guy str cell who is just called Perfect Cell. We haven't had a new standalone unit called Perfect Cell, I think since this guy, potentially. So a very, very long time. And we haven't had a standalone Super Saiyan 2 Gohan since the, uh, there's obviously the Int LR, um, who is on the Android Slash Cell Saga. But then there's also the Tech LR, that's obviously from the Bojack movie. Um, those are the latest standalone Super Saiyan 2 Gohans, and both of those are quite old as well. Now, 
The theory, of course, is if uh, Android Slash Cell Saga is going to be involved, I imagine it will probably be the split between the two parts, right? Like, we could still see one part be Android Slash Cell Saga and the other part be Future Saga. Um, then, of course, people would still get their Vegito Blue that I know people have been wanting to see for a Future Saga-themed celebration. But I do actually quite like this, right? Like, if the overall theme is basically just kind of like you know the time travel and the future like various future arcs like tied into one i do think that would be co a cool theme for a celebration right now i don't know how hyped everyone would be for another revisit to the cell saga but like i said a new standalone perfect cell would be really good a new standalone super saiyan 2 gohan would be really good maybe we could get a new android 16 that's actually good uh, to run with the aglr gohan with his easy a so that he could actually transform easier on some of these other teams like i mean the int super strike 16 is okay right but a new one would definitely be really good um the interesting thing is if we get an android slash cell saga themed celebration again what are the easy a's that we could see from this um so i mean i guess there are the side banner units from the original cell and gohan banners right which is the uh, int android 16 who has never really been very good since his release and then the agl cell juniors they've always been kind of weird because they don't share a lot of links with the main cell units but i mean both of them getting easy a's and maybe becoming like really valuable support units would be quite good um but in terms of i'm trying to think in terms of the dokon fests for android slash cell saga um, I mean, I guess in future Gohan is kind of a shoe in. He's one of the oldest though confessed that doesn't have an easy A yet. So he would be pretty good. Um, there's a lot of uh, banner units and stuff, right? That could use them. This tech trunks would be pretty good of an easy A. This really old tech future Gohan as well would be pretty decent. Uh, we do know as well that um, the files for stickers, which obviously can only be put onto Dokon Fest exclusives or Easy A's, the files for stickers for the AGL Future Android 18 and the physical Future Android 17 were added into the uh, data on JP a little while ago. So that basically confirms that they are getting an Easy A at some point. Now, obviously, the Androids do tie into both Android Slash Cell Saga and the Future Saga. So it doesn't really give us any clear indication which of these two it could be, just based on the fact that those Easy A's are potentially upcoming. But that does mean that those Easy A's, there's a high likelihood that they could be featured in uh, this celebration as well, right? So a lot of Android buffs, and it's kind of... I mean, it helps Future Saga as a category overall a little bit, I guess. But releasing these Androids Easy A's, if the rest of the celebration was solely themed around like the Goku Black arc Future Saga, would be kind of weird, right? So maybe now we are going to see the worldwide celebration split into Android slash Cell Saga and then Future Saga. Android slash Cell Saga has all these Androids, Future Gohan, all that stuff. And then Future Saga obviously has all of the things that I talked about in the uh, video yesterday. It does include future Gohan and those future androids, but it just begs the question of what are those tiles that they were piecing together in the video. Um, and there is one other thing I wanted to show, actually. Let me just bring up a separate tab here quickly. So this is the part of the video that I was talking about where they are showing the uh, square tiles that people are assuming is a hint to the uh, Cell Saga, right? I mean, I'm not sure what these would be. Now, again, we don't know how zoomed is in this is, right? These could be very, very small pieces. But the thing that I wanted to point out here is this bit in the bottom right corner, this like almost like a I guess it kind of looks like a pole, um, essentially. Uh, could that be um, the pillars for the cell gate? Because if they're building a model, you'd have to build like the pillar and then expand on top of it. So is that bit in the bottom right corner the pillars from the cell games arena? Which then obviously would be a further hint that it is indeed Android slash Cell Saga for the later part, or at least the first part. I assume they would go in like in series chronological order, right? So it'd be Android Slash Cell Saga for part one and then the Goku Black arc like Future Saga for part two. Although obviously there's no reason why they can't do it the other way around. But, but yeah, I guess that remains to be seen. So there you have it. The official teaser has been posted on both versions of the game. Let me know down below what you think this means. Is it all just part of the time machine and it is going to be just Future Saga? 
is there some credibility do you think to this theory that is going to be the cell games arena as a second model as well and then we'll see android slash cell saga let me know all your thoughts on the matter down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one